Okay, hello there my Elsevier friends. This is Candice, one of your student ambassadors, and I know it's been a long time since I have done a video, but I'm going to try and start posting more of these, so I hope you guys enjoy. So what I wanted to talk about today is procrastination. Okay, personally, let's be honest, I have been procrastinating on doing this video, and there's no good reason why. I mean, of course, we're all busy with nursing school and everything like that, but... I don't know it's just sometimes I personally put off things that I don't even know why I'm putting them off I just put them off and maybe it is because I'm so busy with nursing school that I don't want to do other things when I know I should be doing them but so that's what I'm going to talk to you about today with procrastination so some of the ways that I have learned to deal with my procrastination is to reward myself even if it's something pleasant I'm doing or unpleasant that I'm doing and I complete it, I give myself a reward. Now this can be as small as going out and getting a coffee with a friend, you know, going to the movies, spending time with people you haven't seen in a while, or maybe treating yourself to a new pair of shoes or that jacket you've been eyeing. Um, I personally have been really wanting a pair of Uggs. But I um, plan on rewarding myself with that at the end of the semester if I do have the funds. So hopefully that works out. Um, some other things you can do for procrastination. I know that I personally get um, satisfaction when I write a list of things that I have to do. And then when I cross them off and check them off, like it makes me happy because I'm getting things accomplished. So sometimes making a list. Um, but just remember, don't let the list run you. It's your list, and if you don't get to everything, that's okay, too. Um, another tip that I have learned for procrastination sometimes, especially with nursing school, is all you know, we do have a ton of things on our plate. So ask people to help you. In nursing, you're going to need people to help you. You're going to need to delegate to other nurses, you know, collaborate with doctors, have your LVNs and your CNAs help you out. So delegating to people that can help you now is going to be a really good skill for you to help to help you in the hospital. So, you know, if you have parents, if you're younger and you live at home and they can help you out maybe with laundry or you can't do, you know, clean something that week. So they help you out. I know my brothers are an amazing help to me. Um, my younger brother who lives with me does the dishes and cleans and I cook and it's like a perfect relationship. Um you know, friends, like let's say I have something that I need to pick up from the post office or, you know, I ordered something and it's at the store, anything like that. I have friends that I can call and, you know, if it's not too much of an inconvenience, they're more than happy to go and help me with those things. So I guess those are my tips to help with procrastination. Delicate to other people, make lists so that you can check things off as you get them done and reward yourself. You are doing things, so that's it. Thanks, guys.